We've had a lot of people comment and ask us about our motorcycles and how we haul our motorcycles. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial, just kind of, or a quick tour on how we carry our motorcycles around with us when we go. Um, later on in this video, I'll actually show you and talk about our motorcycles in general. We both have Hondas, but we'll talk about what types we have, what size we have, and that will kind of play into how we haul them around. First off, this here that we carry it is a steel motorcycle carrier from, it's made by Hallmaster, and we picked it up at Harbor Freight. I can't remember how much it was, and uh, I'll look it up and actually put the price uh, somewhere down here in the bottom of the, the video here. But it was a couple hundred bucks. I want to say it was the more expensive one. Harbor Freight sells two types of motorcycle haulers. One's the higher, higher end one, like this one. It's a 600 and some pound capacity motorcycle carrier and then there's a, a little cheaper version which is aluminum and it doesn't hold it doesn't have the weight capacity on it which was my intentions for Trina's motorcycle however I'll, I'll show you that in just a few minutes but that's exactly what we use it goes into our hitch extension which brings it back a little far further away from the back of the truck and then we use soft ties to actually tie them down to the back of the motorcycle any you know normal kind of ties just like you would if you were trailering a motorcycle same type of tie downs but this motorcycle hauler that comes from harbor freight the Hallmaster, it actually has a ramp on the back yeah it is dirty we just went down a dirt road with, with this was all clean but this ramp comes with uh, wing nuts and washers to hold it in place one on each side This ramp just comes right out. It can easily be handled with one person. And we're not affiliated with Hallmaster or Harbor Freight in any way, shape, or form. We're just trying to show some people how we haul our motorcycles. But if you'll see on the back of this ramp here, it's got two little dowels that stick right in the holes that are already pre-manufactured in the ramp. And it simply goes on here just like that. Once you get the, uh, the ramp in place, I typically just un, uh, unstrap it and we'll just push it off. I keep a little, it's basically a bicycle cable lock. I know that's not going to actually keep anybody from stealing it. It can be easily be cut, but it may slow them down a little bit. But I typically ride with it locked on both our motorcycles. I would say that you can typically load and unload this bike by yourself, but the bigger your motorcycle is, the harder it's gonna be. This one's on the verge of really, really you need two people to load this. Somebody kind of does need to hold the uh, hold the bike in place. But let me get the back one unstrapped and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I strap my bike down with three straps, one on each handlebar, like I said, with the soft straps, flips around and hooks in. Then I throw the one strap over the back. Also, while you're strapping them down, you don't want to compress. I've always been told you don't want to compress the actual um, shocks all the way down or the forks all the way down on these motorcycles. Just compress them just enough. You got it? Mm -hmm. Really got dirty. Yep. And so Trina got my motorcycle dirty. She decided to take a dirt road. It's just that easy. Once the uh, motorcycle is unstrapped, we're going to push it right down the ramp. And then I'll show you the carrier itself.
This is actually the Hallmaster bike hauler that we use. Like I said earlier, it's a 600 pound capacity motorcycle hauler. I hook it right into my hitch extension, which is a Kurt hitch, hitch extension. Um, I do use one of these U-bolts to try to keep it from bouncing up and down. We haven't had any issues with it. It's done well so far, and we've probably had it for probably six months or so that we've hauled it everywhere we've been. Have, have had no issues with it. Works great. So, what my intentions were with Trina's motorcycle was to buy the cheaper Harbor Freight Carrier just to go on the front of the truck. Um, and I'll go through that one here in just a second. So as you notice, for Trina's motorcycle, her motorcycle carrier is not a motorcycle carrier at all. I had intentions of buying Trina's motorcycle carrier from Harbor Freight, the cheaper version that hauls less weight. I think it was rated for like 300 and some pounds. But I had this Hallmaster uh, carrier in my garage at home from our previous truck bed camper. We would haul our old generator on it and any other supplies you may need to take. And I hauled it on the front of my truck. Well, once we got the newer truck camper with the generator already installed, I had no use for this carrier, but we wanted to take Trina's motorcycle. So, her Honda Grom is just short enough to fit right on this carrier. So, I did not want to waste this carrier. This carrier is actually rated for 750 pounds of cargo. It's actually rated for more than the motorcycle hauler itself. So I converted it. I actually had created this angle iron, put this angle iron on, bolted it right on to the back of the carrier in some pre holes that were already installed from the factory. I drilled two holes in the top just so the ramp from my other cargo or other motorcycle hauler, the one from my motorcycle, I just simply use it for this motorcycle carrier here that I've created. The holes line up the same and I used my ramp from my carrier for Trina's homemade carrier. There again from the factory it already had holes to hook your soft ties into front and back. Now what this is here is actually a motorcycle jack. This motorcycle jack was purchased at Harbor Freight and I bolted it directly to the cargo carrier, as you can see. <clears throat> That's what holds Trina's motorcycle in place. The only difference, if you notice this board I've got here up under it, Trina's motorcycle wheel is so small that her fork tries to hit the jack here, so I had to bait it up with this piece of wood. Not a big deal, it stays in place, the weight of the motorcycle holds it down, it's tied down, pulled tight, not had any problems whatsoever. And once I get this motorcycle unloaded, I'll show you how we have it attached to the front of the truck. Again, we use just a regular bicycle cable lock. I know it's not really gonna keep anybody from stealing this motorcycle, but if it'll slow them down a little bit, maybe it'll catch somebody's eye see somebody cutting it or I may give me time to get out here to the motorcycle it maybe it'll slow them down again this motorcycle is so small that I, I load it and unload it every time by myself we use the same type of soft ties for the motorcycle I do have to flip turn these motorcycle mirrors up just so they don't skin the hood of my truck with the mirrors folded in as how I ride them, you've got probably a foot, 10 inches to a foot of space in between here. And even with some serious bumps, I mean, you don't really get anywhere near it. With the mirrors extended down, I'm sure I could probably make it get the front of the truck if we hit a 
hard enough hole. I've, I've not seen this motorcycle move that much. Really, it doesn't move at all unless you hit a you know a pretty bad hole. You may see it wiggle a little bit, but I've never had any problems with it hitting the front of my truck. But I do ride with the mirrors folded up just in case. And when you're buying motorcycle tie downs, do not buy the cheap, just cheapest thing you can find. Actually buy a decent set of motorcycle tie downs. This is what's number one, holding your motorcycle down while you're traveling down the highway at 60, 65 miles an hour. And also, you don't want to put hooks or anything on your handlebars to skin it up, scratch it up. You want to use a decent set of nice, you know, nicer straps. This is in your couple hundred pound cheap tractor supply or Harbor Freight tie downs. You want to go ahead and spend a little bit of money and protect your investment. See my handy dandy little uh, corner markers here. These are nothing more than driveway corner markers or driveway markers. Uh, I think I picked them up at Walmart and bolted them right onto my carrier here. This is just to give me a general idea of where the corner of that carrier is as I'm driving and turning. Um, basically cheater sticks so I can see how close I am before actually hitting something with my carrier on the front of the truck. You'll see that this is basically just a Frankenstein of cargo carriers. Like I said earlier, I added this. This is actually what they call a motorcycle um, like stand. Um, so when you when you jack the motorcycle up, you can put the front wheel here. A wheel chalk is actually what it is. It's a motorcycle wheel chalk. It's a chalk wheel to keep it from rolling. It bolted right to my carrier here. Um, I put these driveway markers in the corners just so I could kind of tell where the corner of my carrier was. to combat the left and right movement of the carrier, to keep it from flexing left and right, since it is on a single hitch in the center. Um, it, originally it had a flex to it back and forth and it would actually rock as we went down the highway. When we went to the North Carolina Truck Keeper Rally back in November, the, uh, there were several truck campers there with cargo, cargo carriers on the front of them and multiple ones that utilize the cargo carrier with the single hitch which is the only way i know and I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute had either a chain cable or a turnbuckle or something basically from the tow hook to the actual cargo carrier to prevent that flex um i didn't really want to use the, the i didn't think i needed a full-on chain turnbuckle these are more of the uh, motorcycle tie downs actually soft hitches which i've pretty much left here permanently but it keeps it from flexing and to be honest with you it doesn't really flex a whole lot even with me i weigh i'm not gonna tell you how much i weigh but i weigh a lot <laughs> more than i should and it doesn't really flex um i've had a couple people one particular person i know commented on one of our videos uh said that we should get a double hitch for the front well i'm not sure that they even make that they may um but this hitch that i've got is a front mounted uh hitch receiver and i ordered it from etrailer.com and if you'll zoom in here it's literally just a uh, it's mounted to the frame of the truck behind that black valise up under the bumper here and it's a standard hitch receiver but it's for the front of a truck um and then this cargo carrier simply goes right in the hitch receiver, just like it would in the rear. But to my knowledge, that's the only, I only know of a single center hitch receiver. I don't even know that you could get two because that heat, that receiver on the inside where it's mounted is actually about this wide. So I don't think you could mount two, one left and right. I had somebody comment that, you know, you should get two and then it would, it would prevent that rocking, which I don't have any problems with it rocking, not, not now. 
not since we put these straps in place to prevent it from rocking back and forth. Again, people ask questions like, you know, what, what are you using to haul your bikes and how are we hauling them? Well, that's it. It's haul master cargo carrier from Harbor Freight that I've modified into a motorcycle carrier, but that's not going to work on most motorcycles. It's literally, it may work for a small scooter or something like that and a Honda Grom. I know it fits a Honda Grom because that's what Trina has. And that Honda Grom barely fits on that. So it's going to have to be a short wheelbase motorcycle if you want to make your own cargo carrier like I did. Um, otherwise, I know Harbor Freight makes a, or, or Hallmaster, which is sold at Harbor Freight, Hallmaster makes a lighter weight, like a dirt bike hauler um, that I was going to get for the front of this truck. And then they, they actually make the motorcycle hauler, which is what I have on the back, which is rated, that one's rated about 600 pounds. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Any ideas, anything you see that, you know, you think maybe I could do better, Shoot me a shoot me a line in the comments. If you like this informational video, check out our next video where we give you details about the types of motorcycles we have and the modifications we've made to them. Thanks for watching.